It's Jolene and today is Friday Reads and a lot of readings going on. I don't know about you but it's still hot and humid here. We still need rain. It rained for a couple minutes this morning. That was it. And I think we had rain the other day for a couple minutes. That was it. Um, the grass is, is brown. Everything's brown. So I pretty much sat in the family room. I'd read for an hour. Or no, I'd read a hundred pages, I'd go clean something, I'd read a hundred pages, I'd watch booktube videos for an hour, I'd read a hundred pages, so I was able to read a book a day. So, I finished book three of the Chronicles of Nick called Infamous, and I gave this a four star, and I read Inferno, which I gave a four star. I read Illusion, which I gave a four star. I read Instinct, which I gave a three star because I love the characters in this. I like the storyline, but there's so many gods and goddesses and demons in other realms, and a lot of them are. A lot of the names are spelled similar. It's very, very hard to keep track. Of everything very hard and then the last book of the series for now because it's not the last one I I think she said there's gonna be 14 books in the series this is number seven this is Envision I gave this a four star now we're getting into genealogy let me tell you what this book is so confusing with the genealogy you can't she keeps throwing in way too many characters and they're not even the main characters. They're just, it's too much. And she either needs to put in a genealogy tree in her books or something because it's very hard to keep track of. But I do like the storyline and I like the main characters. And then I went to the library um, Tuesday mornings. I take my grandson to story time and they had a book on hold for me. And I picked up The Progeny by Tuska Lee. This, I gave a four star. This was awesome. It's a 21 year old woman. She had her memory erased. So she's starting over again and she leaves herself a note that says, Emily, it's me, you. Don't ask about the last two years. Don't try to remember and don't go digging. Your life depends on it. Others' lives depend on it. By the way, Emily isn't your real name. You died in an accident, you paid extra for that. And what does she go and do? She goes and digs up her freaking past. First, she meets a guy that runs one of the stores. They're living in a small town in Maine. And so he comes into her life. Then she meets another guy who kidnaps her. And then the other guy from the store kidnaps her back. And there is so much from her past, she should have never gone digging. But so many people are dying because of things, why she got rid of her memory. She's trying to find a diary from the past. They have powers, and it, it's just really good. It, it was very fast-paced, very good story, and it ends awesome. So I'm not sure if it's going to be a series or a duology, and not sure when the next book comes out, but I will be reading it. And then I started reading a Nat Galley arc called A Time of Torment by John Connolly. I think it said it's number 14 of a series, John Charlie Parker thriller series. Excuse me, I have to sneeze. <coughs> and I have a cat trying to get into the picture. Stop, Pearl, get out of the picture. Pearl, stop. Hold on a second. Get down. Okay. So John Connolly, A Time of Torment, Charlie Parker thriller. I believe it's number 14. I am 30% through this and am really enjoying it. It's fast paced. The beginning of it sucks you right in. Um, a girl, little girl was kidnapped put in the trunk of a car, he goes to her house, tries putting down the garage door, wouldn't go down all the way, gets her out of the trunk, she's in a burlap bag, 
and he hears his doorbell ring, so he throws her back in the trunk, goes to the door, delivery guy is at the door, he goes back to the car, and she's missing. And it goes from there, and then there's like three storylines going on. I guess they'll kind of mingle in with each other. So, yeah, that, I am enjoying that very much. And then I will be reading for, I think, Ostentatious Book Club. It's the hashtag Ostentatious Book Club. I will be reading Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Well, I was trying to get you a picture of the cover. Doesn't seem to want to do that. There it is, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. So I plan on reading that next. And like I said, I'll put... um. It's for the Ostentatious Book Club through Goodreads, and I will try to put a link down below so you can go check that out. I think we're reading a Jane Austen book one, one a month. And then, for part of my hashtag series summer, see my, the Chronicles of Nick series by Sherilyn Kenyon were one of the series I wanted to read for series, hashtag series summer. So I've gotten six or seven um, series done this summer doing that. And then I want to finish up a series, The Rose and the Dagger, which is the second book of the duology of The Wrath and the Dawn. The Wrath and the Dawn was my fa is my favorite book so far this year. And um, I can't wait to get to this. This is a retelling of Arabian Nights. A thousand, is it a Thousand Arabian Nights? And every time... The Arabian gets married, they wake up in the morning, his bride's dead all the, every time. So this girl married him to get revenge and to kill him, and um, she ends up falling for him. Typical. So I cannot wait to read this. I am hoping this is as good as the first book, because I love the first book. And then... I am going to read... Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Yes, I had to go buy this. Because this is... I love Harry Potter. They're my favorite YA books. Um, magical books. So I had to buy this when it came out. So I will be reading that. And that's if I have time. Because the Olympics start. And I like to sit and watch the Olympics. And now that I'm not working, I have more time to watch the Olympics. So I'm hoping to watch the Olympics and still get in a bunch of reading time. And I start babysitting my grandsons on Monday well, when she goes back to work. So it will be interesting how much reading I can get done. The, my, the one is only two months old, so he sleeps most of the time. And the two-and-a-half-year-old, he likes to play by himself, and he likes to watch TV. And we color together, and I read stories to him. So I know I'll still have plenty of time to read with him. And then on August 13th, I am starting a buddy read with Graham from the Mega Man Chief Fan. And we are going to be reading Revival by Stephen King. I have not read this yet. And I'm hoping that I will like this one. So that's what I will be starting next weekend with him. And I will put his link down below. And the cat is back. Hold on a second. You got to stay off. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping I like that. And that's not part of a series. It's a standalone. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Anybody else want to do anybody reads, check out my Goodreads and look under my To Be Read. And I think it's To Be Read What I Own or eBooks. Either one. You want to do a buddy read with anything that I have? Let me know. I'll do a buddy read with you. Um, I don't know when I'll get to them all. I might have to wait a couple more weeks, but... Let me know, and I am all for that. So I think that's it that's for this coming reading. Like I said, I'm not sure how much reading will get done if I have time. I have 
still a lot more Nat Galley books I need to read. So I'm trying to read them in between each book, each one of these books. So, um, yeah, let me know what you're reading, what you read, what you plan on reading. And have a great week, everybody. Bye.